so trauma is actually part of the first noble truth in Buddhism. Uh, so in Buddhism, we define the first noble truth as suffering. And suffering, we talk about sorrow, lamentation, pain, despair, and so on and so forth. Huh? So trauma, this uh, mental kind of stress, mental kind of pain, uh, many people will go through, uh, be it a loss of a loved one, uh, personal crisis, and so on. And uh, I believe that the root causes is actually craving, uh, excessive, unwholesome craving. So we call that mainly greed and anger. So in order to overcome this trauma, uh, we first identify the causes, which is this unwholesome craving, and then we can apply the solutions. So the solution is actually the fourth noble truth. Yeah? If the trauma can't be solved, then there won't be the third noble truth, which is to seize or overcome this trauma, overcome this craving. But because it can be solved, then that's why there's a solution, the fourth noble truth, and it talks about the noble eightfold path. So it's a long uh, step, long journey, but in summary, in short, uh, we can sort of mainly focus on the right thought. So right thoughts are basically uh, thoughts of non-greed, thoughts of anger. So we can practice loving kindness, compassion to overcome this anger. And we can practice things like generosity and the reflection of impermanence to overcome greed and attachment. Yeah, of course, um, not everybody are meditators. So we need some physical activities and eh, to channel this despair and trauma, this um, negative energy and negative emotions to something else. So we have physical activities. So uh, lay Buddhists, for example, they may do more volunteer work, do volunteer work, do charity work, do something wholesome, something positive, and channel their physical energies there. And uh, on top of that, they can practice their chanting, their meditation, so this will help to tame the mind. Yeah, so you have both uh, physical avenues to channel the energy and also the mental avenues to channel this unwholesome energy yeah, and turn it positive. So that is the uh, uh, solution. And uh, to keep up this right thought, because sometimes one thought is not enough. You just say, okay, thoughts of uh, loving kindness. I wish all beings well and happy. That's just one second and uh, trauma will come in again. So that's why we have this thing called right effort. Yeah, right effort is to keep repeating, do not stop. So the whole idea is to uh, reprogram the mind to experience something wholesome, something positive, an emotion that is strong enough to not latch on the previous trauma, traumatic emotions. So that is the whole idea.